Hey guys, I'm the EG here. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Phoenix Red Extra. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia. What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How are you? How have you been? Well, lonely. It's all your fault. Nah, I'm just easy. Having great. I've finally gotten used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know, you want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. It's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe giving the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. I always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clock or... Oh, sorry. Put the papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? Yeah. Yeah, yada yada yada. Mia's gonna pick up some evidence. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, so see ya. Yeah. September 5th, 1927. A.M. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. I... September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Well, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, you are not like a figure. You're not configure or cogniferous on my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I I should have been more careful. Oh, my dear Miss Vay, I'm so very I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Vay. Red, white, blue. Oh no! Did me? Did Mia Fey get murdered? Did the chief get murdered? Oh no! They're my chief. It's a bare fit. Nine oh eight p.m. Fey and Co. Law Offices. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we could all go out for dinner. What's the smell? What? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Examine! I smell blood and that can't be good! I have to check and see if Mia- There's nothing I need to check. So backspace to back. Move. We can go to the office, okay. What the fuck happened here? I smell blood. Sis. Someone's there. Chief! 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 So that's buy it, okay. Oh yeah, you're still wearing the uh, thingy. Who are you? Well, who are you? A strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. 
I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade, until, finally, she was gold. Chief. Examine. Uh... What about the broken thing here? Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Um, Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck in the head with a blow object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker is the murder weapon again! Jesus Christ! Hmm, there are some glass shards in the chief's body. Glass shards. Hmm. Nothing else seems like a clue here. Hmm. His paper must have fallen from me his hand. Could be. A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Nia write this? A piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. The receipt was added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'm gonna call the police. If I know what that girl was doing here. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again! Yeah, he said that funny! Oh, the window! I can check the window. There's a large building right across from the office. The gate? Gate Water Hotel. Nice, luxurious place. Dude! Stop talking about- Oh, uh, nope. Stop talking about hotels and shit! Fankle offices. That's where we call the police. That girl just know where'd she go? I put it right there on the sofa. Oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes, don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, what? Who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya, Maya Fay. Maya Fay? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I could show her the receipt? I never thought they'd be used for evidence like this outside the courtroom. I'm gonna present this as evidence. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th that that's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would she... Why would sis write my name? Uh-oh, no, I've done it. Better hurry and call the... Better hurry up and call the police. Um, about the thinker. The, the thinker? That was... Oh, sis. Hmm. Probably should have asked her about the murder weapon. This was lying next to the chief. I know, I saw it there too. I thought there might have been a piece of a light stand. Hmm, maybe. Never heard of a glass light stand before. <laughs> Badge. Sorry, I've never seen that before. Oh! oh! Okay, so we're gonna talk. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me, can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis, sis. She was already, so she was already dead. You the chief. So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you are here visiting this late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. I, it was in that clock. Or it was that clock. It was the thinker. Wait, what if somebody was spying? Oh. <gasps> I think I've got it. What if somebody was... Um... What if somebody was uh, trying to... Um... Frame Mr. Wright? Because she was talking... Or, or... But what if someone was outside the window and heard? what Mia was talking about. That's a very good idea. That's the sofa. Sofa is for clients, it's leather. Or a real thing. Yada yada yada. No clues here. 
That right here. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. You can gaze upon the shelves without feeling it's insignificant. No clues here. There are clearly clues here. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. The, the reception desk. I usually sit here. Already checked the oh, No clues here. The door to the chief's office is slightly open. I better not touch the doorknob. Oh, the painting. What about the painting? A large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. I mean, I can't see it, so. Uh, back. Move. To the office. Is there anything else I can locate? Examine. The desk itself. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about order decor. Spend bigs on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. The Fang Co. Ledger Book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Computer. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Yeah, tell me about it. That is, that is ancient. The chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. Yeah, because you feel like a boss. The phone. Fight! I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through talking. They're taking the button. Please, please come quick. What was that? I'm screaming at the outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. What the fuck? Mr. Wright's being framed. Uh. Can I move? No. Um, okay. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, backspace. Move. Bank of law offices. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck no. Uh. Police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Please, police. Why the hell did I sound angry? All right, I'm just to Dick Gumshoe. See, Gumshoe. What an odd name. We see the report from the building across the way. See, got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Okay. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving an inch. Okay. Great. Just wait. Wait. Right, wait. She wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek. This will my you mean anything to you? Um, that, that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer, I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the princet, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for the visiting hours to begin at the, de at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m., detention center, visitor resort. Whoa, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, wait, oh. It's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Sorry. <laughs> of course I will. I almost said sorry, not a chance. That would have been bad. Anyways, I'm gonna end this.